All right, looks like there's a couple in here. You can have a go. Is this something you used to do when you were growing up with your, with your mom or your grandparents or anything? Yeah, you know, I grew up around the bay and um, so berry picking was a big part. Um, sometimes, you know, we'd pick berries and try and sell them. I grew up raised by a single mom and, uh, you know, I really know the struggle of people who are trying to raise a family on minimum wage, trying to make a go of it. I know it can be real hard. Um, you know, we moved around a lot. Um, my mom was always trying to find, you know, a better opportunity somewhere else. I'm sure a lot of people uh, understand that. We're seeing a lot of people move away. I even, you know, lived in Calgary for a year. Um, but my mom came back because, you know, she really missed the social support of, you know, it takes a village to raise a child. I definitely understand um, the struggle of people working on minimum wage and, and still living in poverty. It's, um, you know, I think that there is so much more that we could do to um, help those people, at, you know, firstly by raising the minimum wage. <laughs> I heard that you actually had quite a few challenges when you were growing up. Your mom, you say single mom, she got sick when you were a teenager as well? Yeah, uh, my mom got breast cancer when I was about 15 and uh, that was that was a real struggle. Um, you know, we, uh, we were low income and, you know, thankfully we had family support, but um, it was really difficult and especially, you know, being a teenager, I think a lot of people aren't really proud of the things they did as a teenager and it was really hard um, to have my best friend so sick and unable to really take care of me. So that was difficult, um, but you know, we are definitely stronger now. She recovered and uh, got through it. You're 26 now. Um... I mean, how has that experience shaped who you are today? Well, it definitely taught me, you know, compassion and empathy. And, and I think it's a big reason why I'm an activist today, because, you know, I saw the struggle that my mom went through. Um, my pop, you know, we come from a, a working class background and really had to struggle to make ends meet. Um, so, you know, I tried to get my education and um, to, to make a better life for myself and, and for my family and, um, and to stand up for those who, you know, are too busy, um, you know, trying to make ends meet to really have that voice and take the time to do that. And it's so interesting that you chose to go into economics given all of that, right? I chose economics because I figured, you know, this is a really great way that we can, um, I can understand more about our society and and build a stronger economy because I, I realize that um, so much of our social services depend on having a strong economy and um, that it could be a really effective way to change uh, to change the way our society uh, helps people. Well, thanks for making time for us, Gary Claire. It's great to get to know you. Thanks for having me.